Hi everyone and welcome back to my desk. I've always been a fan of air instruments like the air guitar and maybe air drums. So in this video we will be drumming with just our hands. This entire drumming adventure started when a company called DF Robot offered to send in some of their boards and modules for me to build a project with. So I agreed and I was pleasantly surprised when I saw that their boards is one of the nicest packed boards that I've ever seen and had in my life. All of their modules and sensors that they send out were individually packaged in their own individual boxes which looked extremely nice and everything was just so perfectly packed that I was personally really amazed because I'm used to just getting the boards inside an envelope from China so this was definitely an upgrade on that experience. So to start exploring the boards, I started by unpacking the Fire Beetle uh, board. This is an ESP32 based development board that has an onboard charging controller for a lithium battery, which make it really nice for portable projects. And the first thing that I do, I soldered pin headers to it so I can then use it either on a breadboard or with the expansion shields that uh, I also had included in the box. Before jumping into the project, I wanted to first get the feel of this development board because it's the first time that I work with a particular board. So I've installed it on the Arduino within the board manager. And for the first time, I uploaded the example blink sketch with which all worked correctly. So then I soldered the expansion shield and on that I have to warn you because at the beginning as you can see here on the video I had that plugged in upside down so none of the pins were matching luckily that didn't cause any damage on the board so I was able to realize my mistake and then turn it around so I can then connect an I2C sensor to detect the drumming and the movement of the hands, I wanted to use this sensor, which is an ultrasonic sensor. It's called URM09, and it's a sensor that uh, works over I2C that you can then connect to the board that uh, will measure up to 50 centimeters in distance. And the idea is that I'll have four of those that will detect uh, different uh, sounds. So whenever I move my hand close enough to the sensor that will be detected and an appropriate drum sound will be played. So to get started with that, I first connected one of the sensor to the board and I've used the provided example sketch to make it work and I was successfully able to measure the distance within a certain range. So because all of the sensors are coming with the pre-programmed address, I've connected one by one and I've used another of the example sketches to update the address on each of the sensors. So the default is 0x11, which is 17 in, um, in decimal. So I've moved all of them one uh, address up. So I have 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I've then used the provided I2C hub which basically is just a parallel connection that I can connect all the, all the sensors to the board with the provided cables and then just with a single connection connect everything up with the fire beetle and the gravity extension uh, shield. So I had all four of the sensors connected and I modified the sketch so I can measure the distance uh, of each of the sensors. With that initial success in measuring the distance on all four of the ultrasonic sensors. My initial consideration for the project was that I uh, used a player and DF Robot was kind enough to also provide their DF Player Pro module which is able to play mp3 files. So I found some samples online and I've placed it on the onboard storage. The module has 128 megabytes of dedicated storage that you can store your sounds on without using an external SD card. And I then connected it through serial with the board so I could be able to play the songs uh, depending on the module. And that module has also an audio output that I connected to a speaker. Now, even though everything still worked, one of the problems that I didn't think of at the beginning of this project was that the module will not be able to play multiple sounds at once. So whenever I tried to 
um, hit any of the drum sounds and then hit another one the first one will cut out and the second one will be played so that was not really how um, the usual drum set works and I had to find the solution so I ditched the idea of using the player and then I moved to using uh, MIDI and connect the whole board to my computer. Now MIDI is definitely not my thing. Um, I'm familiar with it, I know how it, in general it works, but I've never actually worked with it and I struggled a bit to find the right combination of software that I need to use. On the Fire Beetle, I've installed the MIDI BLE library with some of their example sketches that I was able to send notes successfully to my phone and then to my computer where I was needed to install additional driver for the uh, Bluetooth MIDI to be recognized and then I again struggle with uh, what software to use but eventually I land out on uh, FL Studio 21 which is paid software unfortunately but they have uh, a free trial that I'm currently using and with that I was able to uh, whenever I have a detection of my hand on any of the sensor define each and every note as a different MIDI sound that is then converted and sent to the FL Studio and that is then played as a MIDI note so as you can hear um, there's like literally literally no delay between the detection and when the note is played so i was able to really have quite a lot of fun with it the final version of the code uses the provided library for the urm09 sensor as well as the ble media library and at the beginning we create an instance of our what we call the awesome instrument that we have and few variables where we will be holding the sensor instances the sensor head values as well as the notes that we want to play on each hit and we are at the beginning initializing all of the sensors on the appropriate address so i have 17 18 19 and 20 uh, thus i'm looping and initializing all of them uh, within this um, uh, loop here and as well as setting all of the measure modes and the ranges that we want to use on the sensors. At the beginning, I have this digital read which is connected to pin D4 and that is to, so I can have a switch where I can uh, change the notes that are being played by the four sensors. So in fact, with just four sensors, we can actually have eight notes and uh, have that map to eight different sounds. And then within a loop for each of the sensors, I'm doing three measures to make an uh, average. So we don't have any data where we are reading falsely. And at the end, if the average of that distance is lower than the distance that we have set at the beginning as a threshold, which is currently 10 centimeters. So if my hand is closer than 10 centimeters, then, and if the sensor is not already hit we reduce any double hitting or continuous hitting just if we place the hand uh, over the sensor then we send the correct note based on the offset uh, with the velocity currently i'm using the maximum and a set channel and then on the next iteration we are seeing if that hand moved away then we reset the hit flag so when the hand moves again close to the sensor, then it triggers sending that MIDI note out to the software so it can be played. So as you can see, this is quite an effective and amusing tool to build for yourself. So feel free to check the links in the video description where you can find all the details for all the modules and the code that I've used for the drums as well as links to other software. And with that, I hope that you like this video. Make sure to subscribe down below. And if you like this video, I'm sure that you're gonna love this one where I build a GPS tracker. So be sure to check it out.